morning. The suspect wanting for shooting at police in Kentucky and Tennessee eludes capture again overnight. Colin Mayfield joins us live in the studio with the late breaking details. Colin? Right, Monica, but this time the man police believe to be his accomplice and another woman have been arrested. The CBS affiliate in Nashville reports Troy Wayne and Katie McCarty are now in police custody. They were arrested early this morning after officials say they, along with Floyd Cook, fired at officers following a traffic stop yesterday on I-65 just west of White House, Tennessee. The report says Wayne crashed the group's car through a fence and into a field before they fired shots at police and ran away. Cook is wanted for reportedly shooting an officer in Tennessee and having a shootout with a trooper in Kentucky earlier this week. Marion County sheriffs say that Cook might have stolen a maroon convertible yesterday. Now, Wayne and McCarty were in jail on drug and weapons charges bonded out at the same time. The law enforcement uh, force warns that people in the area to be on alert but also to be proud of their local police efforts. This is a demonstration of what law enforcement can do when we communicate with each other. There was a, there was a large showing of, of uh, officers out here from, like I said, from federal, state, county, and city. And uh, we didn't quit until both suspects were, were in custody. Cook is a convicted rapist. The FBI and U.S. Marshals are helping with the search. Meantime, the house where Cook was hiding Sunday night in Cumberland County was burned, and investigators believe the fire was intentionally set. For the third day in a row, Cumberland County schools were closed yesterday. According to the district's website, it's out of concerns for student safety because of the manhunt. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation added Cook to its top 10 most wanted list. Jennifer Monica.